Welcome back. Make sure to like this video and follow. Let's go through all the material you will need today for this DIY. You will need a thermometer, a scale, obviously a pitcher with wax, pillar wax to be specific, scissors, cotton wicks, I'm using uh, unprepared raw cotton wick, some tapestry needles. And of course the silicone mold for the bubble heart candle i will list and link everything i'm using in this video in the description box below each candle is going to be roughly 150 grams so for two candles you want to weight 300 grams of pillar wax so first things first you want to make sure that uh, while your wax is melting on your double boiler we are preparing our molds and we're going to cut the wicks here i'm using tcr 24 for those candles i like to leave a little bit of length above and below the candle so i'm checking that and cutting two of them Now we need to get our wicks through, so we're going to use a tapestry needle, make sure to get the wick through, as you would if you're sewing. Locate the hole, uh, I've used those mold before, so they are already pierced, otherwise you will need to pierce through the silicone. And using the um, needle every time will allow that hole to remain small and prevent any leaks of wax in your mold, and it means you can use them for a longer period of time. So we're ready, everything is wicked. I'm using the holders just to make sure they are centered. Uh, in the meantime, my wax has melted to the melting point, so I'm using Kerasoy Pillar Blend for this video. Uh, melting point is 75 degrees Celsius, so this is where I'm at, as you can see. Uh, I'm gonna do a peach color today for those candles, so I'm using some Becro Orange Rust dyes chips uh, that I'm cutting really, really uh, small chunks and melting uh, and mixing into my wax, as you can see here. Adjust the number of chips that you want, depending on the color that you want to achieve. Um, I want it to remain very pastel, very peachy for this one, so I'm very careful with the amount I'm adding to my mixture. Once you're ready with the color that you have, you're going to be checking the temperature, and here I'm ready to pour. Pouring temperature uh, for this is 60 five degrees so a little trick here is to when you've got some intricate shapes to deal with make sure that you pour a little bit of wax to start with and start coating the inside of your mold So I'm pouring all the way to the top. I'm going to recenter that wick. Here you can see that I'm tapping. This is to allow air bubbles that may be trapped to go back to the surface. I'm going to make sure that I coat the inside of my mold first. And then moving on with pouring the rest of my wax. So I'm going to now go ahead and tap the candles. As you can see here, this is to release any air bubble that may be trapped at different layers. So this allows the air to come to the surface and let the bubble out. I'm gonna make sure the wicks are centered properly before I let them set for a while. Mm 
I like to remove the wick holder so the bottom of my candle is super flat and very very clean. As you can see it worked really well. Here it is a few minutes afterwards and the bottom looks really really nice. Now it's everyone's favorite time, it's demolding time. So here we go. I'm gonna let you enjoy the sound of that. really really happy with the color it's the perfect peach pastel that i was going for i think it's a little bit different for valentine's day everyone tends to do pink all the time so i wanted to do something a bit different here i really really like that shape i think it's a really nice cute gift it's also something quite easy that you can do at home you can buy all the supply on amazon i will link everything below so if you're looking for a cute diy gift to make for your loved one then this is a really cool one another demolding coming up i'm gonna let you enjoy that too I am super happy with the way they turned out. They both look beautiful. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and you find it helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. See you soon.